What up, everybody? It's your girl, July, from Kickback Couture. I've been getting a lot of people hit me up in my messages saying, you always do videos and you never use stock plugins. Well, honestly, that's probably never going to change. So I'm going to show you what to do in your DAW to find an equivalent for what I'm using if you don't want to invest in anything else. All right, let's get into it. All right, this video should be pretty brief, but I just want to show y'all how to find dope presets in Reason, stock presets, all right? So in order to do that, you got to know your way around the browser, right? Of course, you probably know where the instruments, effects, utilities, players, and all that stuff is and know where they are. If you don't, I definitely suggest you hop into that Reason manual and read up, all right? I also have some videos in so does Reason Studios and DNA Labs. We all have videos showing you how to use these individual rack extensions. If not, check the manual, right? So to find dope presets, let's say you were looking for strings. Well, there's a few places you could look. You could look inside of this library. There's different libraries on the left side of this browser. Reason sounds, orchestra sounds, factory sounds. You also have a drum library, which you wouldn't find strings in there, and a loop library. In addition to that, you have a rack extensions libraries, right? So don't forget to search this folder when you're looking for things. So if you own any rack extensions or you have a specific edition of Reason, like Reason Suite or even Reason Standard, then you'll have access to some rack extensions that you might not have access to if you had a lower version of Reason or whatever. So if I want to find a dope string sound, for example, Reason Sounds, there's a folder called Strings and Voice. And I could go through these presets until I find something that fits what I'm looking for. Orchestra sounds. There's a folder called strings. Factory sounds. Here you can search by specific rack extension or rack, whatever you want to search by. Drum library. Probably wouldn't have any strings because it's a drum library. In the loop library, you just type in strings. Same for the rack extension. Come up here, type in strings and see what pops up. In my case, I'm looking for a guitar, so I have a few places I could look. Of course, I have all of these different libraries. So, a guitar is definitely a string. So I could drop this folder open. See uh, some double bass, uh, pizzicato, LA synth, blah, blah, blah. But the fastest way to find it is going to be to type in guitar and I'm going to copy that word so I don't have to keep typing it out and now we see different presets so let's just drop it over this one which is a purchased rack extension see which one sounds good it's a little too weird sorry about the cat That could actually be pretty cool. I might keep that there. Let's uh, drop into this and bring it up an octave by holding down Command Shift and pressing up. I'm actually gonna uh, mute. I'll just keep that. Uh, put it over here for now and get rid of it later. But let's just keep going through this. Gracious. So I know I'm looking for um, an acoustic type sound, so just check for the names. So this one sounds dope. All right, cool. Now let's say I want to add a flute to go on top of that. And I don't want to use any VSTs because I don't want to buy anything. Okay, perfectly fine. Now this IDA has pretty much everything you could think of. But we'll use this. I don't know what this cat is. Playing with something. Something that's not the ears. Thank you. 
So I'm gonna record this, and then we'll find a replacement. All right, cool. So we wanna find a flute sound. So we'll go into brass and wind. A flute is a wind instrument. So we have some clarinets down here. And at worst, if we don't wanna go through all that, we could just type in flute. But I found one. All right, cool. So if you don't have to search reason sounds, you can search the orchestra. Um, there is woodwinds here in which you can find some flutes. Um, the orchestra sounds are mostly going to consist of sampled NNXT files, and which is dope. You just have to add your own effects and reverb and whatnot, delay, all of those things you'll have to add yourself. It'll be like dry patches for you to build off of, which is great for uh, movie music and stuff like that if you don't want to start with effect presets. You can also check in factory sounds. This will let you search by a specific rack type. For example, you could search by NNXT and then see everything that pops up under that folder. So we could go in and look for winds, read and pipe might be the closest we get to that. All right, cool. So, um, after you, you might want to check out factory sounds. We won't find it in the drum library. However, if you're looking for drums, definitely check that out. Um, let's go ahead and search flute in our rack extensions. If you own any rack extensions or you have suite, then you'll have some different presets in there as well. So looking here, if you expand the browser, you'll see what kind of patch is coming from. So I know that this is going to be uh, come from a chords folder. I don't necessarily want to just start playing some flute chords, so I won't use that. It's a little air too airy for me, which of course we can change the effects. But if you don't like the sound of it in the first place, it's best to just choose a different preset unless you know you can tweak it. So outside of that, let's see what else I want. Might want to use Pangea, it has dope flutes. Kind of sounds like a whistle. Let's add some reverb to it. Turn it down a bit. Add a filter, cut out some of that um, air, and add some more volume. This is a low pass, let's let the highs pass. Alright, cool. Let's say I'm looking for a dope, um, like creepy kalimba, marimba type of piano sound. Alright, I'm just gonna add a quick ID8 because that's how I get my ideas out. And then I'm gonna replace it. Alright, let's go. cool so of course like i said before we can start at reason sounds and we can look at plucks and mallets let's do that and we got bells strings and wood sound i'm looking for is definitely going to be a bell and you can see all the names here let's try this sweet mallet sound right here drop that over there <laughs> Got this like music box, box repatch. 
That was nice. I'll take this a bit further and add an effect on it, like half time. Half, bring down the mix level. And if you don't have half time, definitely check it out. I believe it'll be a lifesaver in terms of creativity and even transitions and coming up with ideas, everything you could think of. All right, so. Let's say we want to find a dope 808 because you don't want to buy any 808s. You feel like you shouldn't have to buy 808s. All right, cool. You don't have to buy 808. Let's go into drum supply. And we see Kong patches, bass drums, snares, hi-hat, cymbals, so on. So 808s are going to be in bass drums. And you see all these things that say 808. I would just type in 808. And you don't have to look in this folder. You can still look in the Reason Sounds folder. There are dope. 808 files in the sounds folder as well. So these are 808 kick drums, 808 bass drums. So here, let's look in uh, Reason Sounds and see what we, we find. This 808 right here is very popular in the Reason community. This 8080 repatch. This is a Europa patch. Whoops. We also have this 808 bass drum from Thor. This one is also f fairly popular because it's simple and you could tweak it easily. And if you wanted to tweak it and make it sound like, you know, something more rough, we could drag and scream and play a nice 808 pattern to this melody we got. All right, another 808 is probably slept on is this Bob 808. Now what you could do is add an effect to it and make it sound however you want it to sound or drop open what's already there and mess with that. There is a scream here. Now you might want to not want to mess with that. And if you don't, I understand. Once you know how to uh, change synths and alter them to your liking, I would do so. Because I don't want the extra long tail on it. So I'm cutting that out. Also going to get rid of some of this punch. This initial click. All right, let's see what it sounds like. Alright, so yeah, it sounds dope. Definitely options available. And if you don't see nothing, learn sound design, make your own 808. You don't have to buy it if you don't want to buy it. That's basically what I want to tell y'all in this video. How to find dope stock presets and reason. Alright, with that being said, definitely let me know what you would like to see next. It's all culture, kickback, cook up.